Yo guys, what is going on? I'm next to bring you guys this uh, really cool episode edition Sigma Bobby of a sapphire egg lock. The, the layout kind of speaks for itself when I talk about it. Uh, basically, it's an egg lock that me and David have been planning for about a month and a half now. And uh, we're not just getting to it since the Pelipper Solar Run is now coming to an end. Uh, by the time this egg lock actually starts, the Pelipper Solar Run will be done. I will only have like three badges left. Or we got two badges left. And then a lead for that's it. So literally three, four more parts max of it. So that's gonna be a thing. So definitely make sure to go check out David's side of this uh, cross promo. It's gonna be a cross promo, meaning that it's gonna be a side by side LP. Uh, so David will be doing a Ruby egg lock, as I'll be doing a Sapphire egg lock. Kudos to my bro Lek. Check him out as well for making this amazing layout. It's really, really amazing. It's really gorgeous, and I love it. Uh, also make sure to check out David again. Check out those two guys. They definitely helped us out in this project. Uh, and David is also going to be benefiting into this project as well because he's doing a Ruby one So it's very understandable very self-explanatory. So I guess it kind of makes sense uh, basically, this is just uh, The small stuff of where I kind of just have to you know because David wanted to be a little a little who he And he wanted to me to record this part and I didn't do it with any audio So basically to me post comment this and you know, it's a thing. It's definitely gonna be a thing <sighs> That's gonna be a thing. So I'm just gonna let this go by stick around though for about another minute longer I think it's how long it's gonna last. Think about for the end of this part of this video where I'm gonna be showing you guys how to send us eggs. It's gonna be, re it's really easy actually and everything that you need is gonna be in the description as well as like the email and it's gonna be like two media fire links of the sav file as well as a save. It's very, very, very easy and self-explanatory so if you stick around for the end of the video you'll learn how to do that very quickly. Uh, basically, I chose my character a female of course and David is always gonna go to the male. I call myself David as well, why the hell not? And you know, it's gonna be uh, pretty uh, pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward, I guess. So, pick the mod and everything. Uh, basically, I guess what David really want me to do, you know, to record this is to just be like, yo, Nexus, I want you to go to the Pokemon Center, walk around, and I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not a Let's Player. I'm just a guy that does Let's Plays. If that makes any sense at all. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense at all. That doesn't make any sense at all. Ah. <sighs> That is, really doesn't make any sense at all, but it's going to be a very, uh, very fun project. I'm very eager, very happy to start it. Uh, when June and when July hits, this LP is going to probably last for about two weeks. We're going to wrap this up real quick. It's going to be daily uploaded as long, as well as with a Wi-Fi and or other video going along with it. So stick for the end of the episode, and here it is. All right, so if you guys actually stuck around for this part, it's the most important part of how you guys are going to be learning how to send me eggs for this egg lock. Make sure to also go check out David's part uh, to also learn how to send him egg locks or how to send him egg for his egg lock. We're doing a cross promo egg lock, so definitely going to be doing it side by side. Of course, I'm not going to be uploading our episode at the same time. He may be uploading his the day before mine. I may be uploading his the day behind his. You know, we may not be on the same track, but at the end of the day, it's still going to be a very fun project, and please make sure to support not only me, but him as well equally with the exact same amazing support that you guys always give me now with that being said uh, we're gonna learn how to send eggs and I kind of just learned this literally 10 minutes ago so if I've messed anything up I apologize what you do is you do open and I give you the sav file that you guys are about to you know mess with I give you that sav file so of course I'm gonna have the sav file in the link description and everything and a media file link as well as a saves so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open and hit the sav file that I give you hit open and you're gonna completely forget all of this forget all of this Activate to storage and save. So now we're gonna go to storage and uh, his box one. So what you're gonna do is you're going to go to right click and click edit. And here you see all this stuff like this. So example, you have can only send me, uh, you can only send me first evolution Pokemon. So don't send me like a freaking Charizard. That doesn't hatch out of like a 0.5 centimeter egg. <laughs> it doesn't hatch out of that, it doesn't. But then again, Kangaskhan does, even though it's like hatched out already with a baby in the stomach. It doesn't make any sense at all. But you have to send the first evolution of the Pokemon, so you do. So we're gonna do a Zuro. So like, yeah, Pokemon like that would elect the buzz and all that kind of stuff. You'd have to send Elekid. I know it sucks for me, but you have to send Elekid. Keep it a Zuro. Ignore the name, because, you know, the name will not carry on. So I get to name them uh, whatever I feel like, because the name for third gen egg locks like these, they don't carry on. Uh, you don't have to click that to be honest, it doesn't matter at all. Uh, for the PID, I haven't known, I had, don't really know if you can make a shiny or not, I haven't really tried that. They really don't come out shiny, I think. Um, some games it matters, some games it don't. For the nature, make it a beneficial nature, don't give me like a hardy, don't keep it hardy. Give it a beneficial nature and its ability, I like already on A saves, it doesn't give you some random ability. You can only choose between thick fat or huge power, we're gonna go huge power. And of course, we're gonna make this go adamant. 
uh, even though I know that water moves and stuff like that and ice is just not physical in this game so the only physical move that you probably would have is like double edge I guess that'd work and then after that you can hit generate you can make it a male or if you want to make it a male after all this is done you click generate boom you're done X that out and now what you want to do is you don't give it an item the friendship level keep it at zero if you make it anything higher than zero the egg is going to take incredibly long to hatch and I don't want to do that so please don't do that uh, for the item don't put an item there check mark egg you can give it pokey rest if you want it doesn't really matter uh, I mean it really doesn't matter I guess you can give it pokey rest but at the end of the day it doesn't matter at all so you can pick a random number in there if you want higher chances to get pokey rest I guess uh, for stats click random and random doesn't really matter for this next page we're going on to the moves give it the legitimate move set that they can learn at their level so by the time they hatch they will be at level 5 so give it something that it can learn at level 5 and below only and you can also give it egg moves and stuff so, and such like that I have absolutely no idea what Azura learned but I think it's like bubble and tail whip uh, so we're gonna go bubble we're gonna go tackle because who the hell doesn't learn tackle and that's it that's it after that you're done you don't even need to go to the met section you're done once you have this the legitimate moveset that it can learn the stats and then uh, you just hit random and random that's it and then what you have to do is you pick the Pokemon member first stage evolution only so like Azuril, Magby, El Elekid, Smoochum such like that uh, don't give it an item check mark egg that's definitely encourage you to check mark egg don't give it a nickname because at the end of the day it's not gonna matter at all what you're gonna do now is you're going to click save edit and there you go see look it's right there it's done it's done it's done now what you have to do now is right click and do export when you export it's gonna be coming up like this like a .pkm file and this is what you're gonna be emailing me this exported file is what you're going to be emailing me make sure to only email me the exported file don't email me back to sav file that's not gonna help at all so email me back the .pkm file and uh, give it a name where it's not gonna to be too obvious like don't call it Azuril even though we have an Azuril no call it like your name or something like that like you know something like that just call it like that either way I'm gonna be putting it in uh, this folder sapphire eggs folder so we're gonna call this one test egg 2 I already tested one out to see if I could do it properly and I did after that I'm going to hit save and that's it that's all you have to do you email me what you just saved right now so if I go back to the sapphire eggs folder here's test egg 2 you're going to be emailing me uh, test egg 2 or whatever you want to call it just don't give it away like don't give me a sudowoodo and call it sudowoodo uh, call it like something that's whatever you want uh, just don't give away the name or anything make call it after yourself uh, I'd more along prefer if you called it after yourself if there's like if your name is Nick and there's another guy that's Nick you know maybe just do Nick is God Nick is swag young Nick something like that I don't know just don't give away the name that's really it that's gonna be it though that's really it just it to be honest that's really it all you do is once you get that .pkm file email me that .pkm file at nexuseglock at gmail.com I think that's what it is uh, don't get me too wrong on that it's gonna be popping up on the screen as well in the link description down below and uh, with that being said this will be starting on the 21st a week from this day that I'm uploading it and uh, it's really it so hopefully we can have a fun egg lock I'm gonna do it on the 21st because that's when I did my very first egg lock of all time throwback if you've been to this old on the channel and uh, with that being said Pip pip, cheerio.